Hey guys, welcome back here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about two of the most famous creams in the world right now and two of the most talked about brands. And they are La Mer's Moisturizing Cream and Augustina's Bader or AB's Rich Cream. Now, you may have heard of these two before because they have a crazy cult-like following with celebrities from Kim Kardashian to Blake Lively to literally all of Hollywood having used them at some point or the other. A little bit of background. So both of these products have been created by doctors. The intention of creating them to start with was to cure burn scars and the appearances of burns in general. They both have their own secret ingredient which makes them unique. For La Mer, it's the Miracle Broth and for AB, it is the TFC. Eight. And the good news is that they have both undergone rigorous independent testing to prove their efficacy. And the result from those studies are that they are both almost equally as good in anti-aging and improving the skin barrier's health. So given this information, how do you choose one over the other? Well, the real difference comes down to the actual ingredients in these two products. So let's take a look. So as you can see from this list here, they both have their own ingredients that are very good for you and very beneficial for a variety of different reasons and in a variety of different ways. And they both do a great job at moisturizing your skin. Now, according to an app called Yuka, which tests the quality of consumer products from everything you eat to the things that you put on your face, Augustinus Bader actually has a 100% out of 100 rating, which means that it's free from damaging chemicals, safe for sensitive skin, and only contains ingredients that are deemed safe for your skin. And another one of the biggest advantages of AB is that you only need one product. It's meant to be a fully comprehensive one product solution to all of your skincare needs. So with AB, you don't need an extra serum, you don't need any treatment oils. All you need to do is basically cleanse your face, apply this product, and you're good to go. So for those of us that don't have a lot of time in the morning or want to get quickly to bed at night, this is the perfect solution. Also, if you check out AB's website, you'll see real images of people who have used it and before and after shots that show that their skin is plumper, more wrinkle-free, and even has better skin tone. It also has ingredients like retinal palmate, which is a type of retinol that's good for acne, scarring, and hyperpigmentation. I myself am a huge, huge fan of AB. I've been using it for close to two years now, and prior to that, I was using La Mer for two years before that. And because I can be super lazy in the morning, AB was the first choice for me. And I myself can attest to the fact that ever since I started using AB, I've had almost no visible fine lines, my acne scars have gone away, and my pores are barely visible. Now, according to the Yuka app, Lumber does not rate as highly because it contains potentially hazardous material like paraffin and petroleum. As you can see in this product information sheet comparing the two creams, you can see that Lumber contains petroleum which is not regulated by the FDA in the US and may contain toxic chemicals due to variable refinement standards. Although these days it is worth noting that petroleum used in skincare is refined to a very very high standard and is deemed safe for your skin. If you see creams with petroleum being sold in the EU, you can rest assured knowing that in the EU, skincare products are not allowed to be sold unless they meet certain refinement standards. So you basically know it is safe to use. Another thing to note is that La Mer is not completely cruelty free. While La Mer themselves do not test on animals, they do allow their products to be tested on animals in other countries like China where testing is required by law. Another slight thing that might be a bit off-putting with La Mer is the smell of the product. So the secret ingredient that they use actually has a smell that some users have noted they find off-putting. I myself don't mind it and have used the cream for many years. La Mer's cream is also a much thicker texture. They do have a thinner soft cream now, but the original cream has a much thicker texture which leaves your skin looking a bit oily, which some users might not like. And it also probably means you have to wait a little bit longer for the cream to be fully absorbed in before you apply any makeup up on top. Now the ugliest part of all of this is the price. These two are premium creams, so it means they are on the much higher end of your average cream on the market. So they make great gifts and they're a great product to treat yourself if you really love skincare. So back to pricing. So the price for La Mer is around 410 pounds for 100 ml and their standard 30 ml pot sells for around 150 pounds. Although you can find much better prices during times like Black Friday, Cyber Monday and also Christmas sales. Augustus Bader sells for around 430 pounds for 100 ml and their standard 50 ml bottle is around 215 pounds. They also have a subscribe option on their website where if you place a minimum of three orders, you get the 50 ml cream for around 172 pounds per order. So 
I honestly love both of these creams, even though it may have sounded like La Mer had worse stuff going on for it than Augustus Bader, they are both proven to be non-toxic and all of the studies done on them have shown that they are safe for you to use and have excellent anti-aging benefits. For me, what it comes down to at the end of the day is how much you like multi-step skincare rituals versus just a single solution. I personally like just a single solution of having to only use one product on my face versus having to use a toner, a serum, and then the cream, and then a sunscreen on top. Hence why, for me, I switched from La Mer to Augustinus Bader. But if I had more time in the mornings and at the night, I probably would maybe alternate between the two of them. So there you have it, guys. Two of the most premium creams in the world, both very different and yet equally good. And the choice, I think, at the end of the day just comes down to brand loyalty and personal preference. And that's my take on both of these products. I hope you found this video useful, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.